Hi everyone, Simon here with a huge update to Tempin Toolkit. Version 2.6 introduces a whole new tool with layouts and drillings. You'll find the new tool in the main menu right under Bowling Ball Arsenal. The first time you come in you'll be in the My Layouts screen and obviously you won't have any yet. So before we dive into adding a new one, let's take a look at the library. In the menu at the bottom of the screen here, you'll find all the major layout systems covered. You'll have Dual Angle and Storm's VLS or Pin Buffer Layout System for one-handed thumb-in bowlers. And for two-handers or thumb-out bowlers, you'll see Storm's 2LS along with the symmetric and asymmetric versions of Mikey Pinnell's PAL or Pin Above the Line system. Let's take a look at the first one, Dual Angle and you'll see a list of example layouts. In this case, these are all taken from Mo Pinnell's recommended layouts for high, medium and low track players. I'm gonna open up High Track Angular and you'll see we've got a beautiful 3D visualization of the layout that we can move around as we want. Below that, we have the three component values of the layout and we can tap on each one to highlight what that relates to on the ball. Below those, we have the PAP or positive axis point values You'll store your PAP in a drilling that I'm going to show you how to create in a minute. But as with the layout values, you can tap on either of these to highlight the PAP over value or the vertical value right on the ball. And just underneath is where you'll be able to select the drilling that has the PAP that you want to view this layout with. At the bottom of the screen, you can tap here to add this one to your My Layouts area that we saw at the start. You can add notes integrated with the Tempin Toolkit Notes tool. And when the layout has been applied to one of the bowling balls in your arsenal, a counter will appear here and you can tap to bring up the list and jump directly to any of them. So coming out of this layout, we can see that we also have other layout types, VLS equivalents of those dual angle layouts, the six standard 2LS layouts, the five standard PAL asymmetric layouts, and the three standard PAL symmetric layouts. And with these last three systems being specifically for no thumb bowlers, the grips are shown on the ball accordingly. Heading back to dual angle, you may well have something specific that you want to keep a record of with your own custom layout. Tap on the new layout button, give it a name. Dual angle is already selected because that's where we were and pick one of the existing layouts to use as a starting point for your new one. Now you can tap on the name at the top here to edit the name and description, or more importantly, tap on the Edit Layout button at the bottom to go into edit mode. You can adjust any of the three values with these sliders, and as you do, that aspect will be highlighted on the ball so you can see exactly what's changing. Next up, we'll take a look at drillings. The first time you come in here, you'll see these two example drillings, one for thumb and one for no thumb, to give you an example of how it all works and to use as a starting point for when you make your own. As with layouts, you can edit the name up here or you'll just tap on any of the other values to edit them. Next to each of the fingers and the thumb, we have the pitches, which we can tap to edit. And as we change them, you'll see these shadows around each hole that help you visualize the direction and amount of those pitches. Tap on one of the finger holes to edit anything related to that hole including grip size, grip types and inner sizes, or no grips for conventional drilling. You can also choose vacuum grips and add any additional notes specific to this hole. Similarly with the thumb hole, we can choose the type of insert, the hole size, how much the hole should be widened to make an oval, and if there is an oval, how much it should be rotated. Lastly, as I mentioned earlier, Drillings are also the place where you store the PAP that will be used if you select it when viewing a layout. Just like layouts, we can add notes to this drilling. We can see any balls that the drilling has been added to. And if we want to delete the drilling, we can do that down here too. Once you have some layouts and drillings, you can then attach them to bowling balls in your arsenal. Just head into a ball in one of your bags and tap the edit button. Go down to the layout and drilling section and pick the ones that you want. Coming in future updates, you'll also be able to view layouts and drillings directly from the ball. There'll be new options based on layouts or drilling information to apply in your arsenal charts. And you'll be able to share custom layouts and drillings just like you already can with custom oil patterns and arsenal search filters. But for now, that's the layouts and drillings tool in version 2.6. It's out now, and as usual, you should find your device updates automatically sometime over the next few days. Otherwise, just search in the App Store and look for the update button. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to contact me. You can do that via the website at www www.tempintoolkit.com or come and find me on Instagram and Twitter as Tempin Toolkit, all one word, or search for Tempin Toolkit on Facebook. Thanks for watching and bowl well.